Once upon a time, there was a king who had a very wise advisor, who understood the speech of animals. He understood what they said, and he could speak to them in their languages. One day, the advisor was wandering along the river bank with his followers. They came upon some fishermen who had cast a big net into the river. While looking into the water, they noticed a big, handsome fish. Who was following his pretty wife? Her shining scales reflected the morning sunlight in all the colors of the rainbow. Her feather-like fins fluttered like the delicate wings of a fairy, as they sent her gliding through the water. It was clear that her husband was so entranced by the way she looked and the way she moved, that he was not paying attention to anything else. As they came near the net, the wife fish smelled it. Then she saw it, and, being alert, avoided it at the very last moment. But her husband was so blinded by his desire for her that he could not turn away fast enough. Instead, he swam right into the net and was trapped. The fishermen pulled in their net and threw the big fish onto the shore. They built a fire and carved a spit to roast him on. Lying on the ground, the fish was flopping around and groaning in agony. Since the wise advisor understood fish talk, he translated for the others. He said, "This poor fish is madly repeating over and over again, 'My wife, my wife, I must be with my wife. I care for her much more than for my life. My wife, my wife, I must be with my wife.'" I care for her much more than for my life. The advisor thought, truly, this fish has gone crazy. He is in this terrible state because he became a slave to his own desire, and it is clear that he has learned nothing from the results of his actions. If he dies keeping such agony, and the desire that caused it, in his mind he will surely continue to suffer by being reborn in some hell world. Therefore. I must save him. So this kind man went over to the fisherman and said, "Oh, my friends, loyal subjects of our king, you have never given me and my followers a fish for our curry. Won't you give us one today? Oh, royal minister, please accept from us any fish you wish. This big one on the river bank looks delicious," said the advisor. "Please take him, sir," they said. Then he sat down on the bank. He took the fish, who was still groaning, into his hands. He spoke to him in the language only fish can understand, saying, "You foolish fish! If I had not seen you today, you would have gotten yourself killed. Your blind desire was leading you to continued suffering. From now on, do not let yourself be trapped by your own desires." And the fish realized how fortunate he was to have found such a friend. He thanked him for his wise advice. The minister released the lucky fish back into the river, and continued on his way. You see, in life, in your life, only fools are trapped by their own desires. If you are truly honest with yourself, nothing or no one can cheat you. Not even you yourself. So think about what you are chasing and why you are chasing it, and never let your desires fool you. And always learn from your mistakes. This is their.